Today we're taking a look at some tiny altcoins you should probably have on your crypto watch list because when we get into alt season, altcoins are going to do well, but these tiny altcoins that I'm going to share with you guys today are the ones that are going to be doing those 15 X's, 25 X's, and even more. And the potential on these smaller altcoins are obviously a lot greater, but you do have to understand that there is a lot more risks to them. So we're going to take a look at some coins in the gaming narrative, the AI narrative, the RWA narrative, and other narratives that we are bullish on for this bull market. So first and foremost, before we get into some of the picks here, we have to look at Bitcoin's charts because right now we're at $63,240 at the time of me recording this. But if we take a look at what has happened over the last, you know, three, four days here is that we have some very, very strong resistance right around this $64,300 level. We do see, you know, time and time again, we aren't able to break above this. And hopefully Bitcoin is able to pass this level of resistance and turn it into support so that it can try and, you know, break out from this downward channel that we've been into since the start of March. So we've literally been here for six months, almost seven months now. And hopefully, you know, Bitcoin is able to rally into the month of October because ultimately, if Bitcoin goes up, altcoins are likely to also go up. But we also have seen that if we take a look at the total three market cap, this excludes Bitcoin and Ethereum. We have broken out of this six month downtrend and we are sitting around a six hundred and eleven billion dollars in terms of market cap. But if we take a look at what that brings us to, it brings us to, you know, these levels from back in the late parts of August. We do see we are kind of finding resistance on this previous top. So continue monitoring this. We could definitely have something, you know, that comes back down to test this and then continue upwards. But ultimately, that is still a ways out, in my opinion. And going into October, which is literally less than a week away, well, things are definitely more bullish than bearish, in my opinion. So the coins I'm going to be sharing with you guys today are not recommendations. And you have to understand that these coins should not be the majority of your crypto portfolio. If you have a certain allocation that you have in mind for, you know, riskier plays, smaller plays, it shouldn't necessarily be higher than 10% of your portfolio. That is obviously my opinion. You guys can have your own and that's why it is your own money and you can literally do what you want and don't just follow, you know, some of the plays that I'm in blindly do research and understand these plays before you actually get into them now of course i'm not going to mention all of the altcoins because we could be sitting here forever but if you want more information join that free discord there's a link in the description below and of course if you want even more one-on-one -on -one action or even to see what i am buying and selling get access to private sales and so on and so forth take a look at the vip discord that we have all of those links are in the description below. So the first coin we're looking at here is a gamer coin at ticker GHX. It's up about 20% today and it's now back around at 10 cents. Now, if we just take a look at what happened to it, let's say over the last year or so, just to take a look at the March highs, because we did have a mini alt season in March. And if you believe that, you know, the next three months, Q4 2024 is going to be bullish. And you also think that we're going to get a peak in, you know, 2025. Well, I would imagine that the peaks back that we saw in March are going to be exceeded. And GHX here was at 34 cents back in March. Now, in terms of crypto market cap right now, it's sitting just shy of 70 million. So still relatively small. I'm not talking about, you know, sub 10 million dollar market caps or even you know some crazy tiny coins in this video although we do have one but ultimately if you are just looking to gamble i mean it is up to you and it is again just your own money but gamer coin here 
is in the AI narrative and it's also in, you know, the gaming narrative because they are catering to gamers that are not utilizing their setups to provide GPU power into their cloud computing system, which then other people can go and buy and utilize. And people providing that GPU power are earning the GHX token. Now, if we take a look at, you know, what has happened to GHX ever since March here, we have a better look at the chart. Well, we obviously saw an explosion all the way to 34 cents. And then ever since March, we were just in this downtrend. This is daily candles. Let me pull it over to a weekly candle. You're basically going to see that, you know, from the very beginning of, you know, April. Yes, we had a crazy peak. I'm not even going to count this. But from the early parts of April down to, you know, just the early parts of September, we were in this crazy downtrend. You know, we were not able to break this resistance. Time and time again, we tried and we weren't able to until the very beginning of September where we have, you know, a few weeks here where we've closed above these levels and we are now breaking out and it's literally sitting at about 10 and a half cents right now. So going back to this daily chart here, we do see that, you know, we've clearly broken out of this downtrend resistance and it has exploded to the upside. So GHX is definitely a small, tiny altcoin, in my opinion. You're going to tell me it's not tiny, but, you know, it's still 70 million. It's nowhere near, you know, the hundreds of millions of dollars, and it's nowhere near one billion dollars. So if it were to go to a billion dollar market cap, it's, you know, a little bit more than a 10x. So in my opinion, it's possible. But this one here is definitely number one, in my opinion, to continue monitoring just because of the crazy explosions we saw back in March, and if it were to reach the same levels that it did in March, well, you're essentially looking at a 225% gain from these current levels. And if you believe that it's even going to go higher at the peak of this bull market, well, you know, who knows what it's going to bring. But again, it's catering to AI, it's catering to gaming. And in my opinion, those two narratives in itself are going to do very well in this market. Now, moving on to crypto number two, Bad Mad Robots. They have a playtest out. This one here is a AAA game that's also going to be on Steam and Epic Games. It is also partnered with Immutable X. So there's a lot going for this game, and it's sitting at a $15 million market cap. Yes, there's still inflation to be had on this ecosystem, as only 26% of the tokens are in circulation. But again, if we take a look at what happened in March, well, this game went to 10 cents. The game wasn't even close of being out. It's all a lot closer on, you know, this time around where we have an actual playtest. People have played this game. And back in March, you know, it was just speculation. Crypto gaming was going up and metal did go from, you know, this six tenths of a penny to 11 cents. So just on a pure hype this thing went up a crazy amount and right now it's sitting at 2.2 cents and as we know a market cap a very very low of 16 million dollars so if we take a look at metal on its chart here what do we see is you know obviously that crazy run in march and if we take a look at just what has happened since well, if we go from this downtrend here, we can definitely see that once again, we've broken below or we've broken above this downtrend of, you know, back from the later parts of April all the way to the beginning of September. We've now seen a bottom, which was right around 1.2 pennies. And now we are, you know, definitely hitting some resistance around this 2.3 cents. But ultimately, this is, in my opinion, another one of these gaming plays to look out for because as we are going to get more information on you know their play test and when it's actually going to be coming out this is going to be a game that you're not going to want to miss in the future now if i give you guys two more crypto gaming ecosystems to monitor one we have miria this one here is a layer two solution to ethereum so it has its own blockchain and as we can see, it is sitting at a $73 million market cap. And again, back in March, this thing was at 1.3 cents. 
and now it's sitting at three tenths of a penny. So you have to just look at these, you know, quote unquote, dead coins that haven't done anything since March and understand the risk to reward ratio that you can use on these coins because taking a look at Miria, you know, yes, they haven't actually released any of the games that, you know, they said they would release, but it's literally back to some of the lows that it was in the previous bear market. This brings us back to levels in August of 2023. So, of course, you know, at this point, in my opinion, yes, I am a pretty heavy holder of Miria, but I'm looking at this and, you know, as they are still in the playtest of their meta rush game, if that comes out, hopefully it brings a bullish action to the price action of Miria. But also, if you believe that crypto gaming is going to have another run, well, Miria had crazy gains from literally, you know, 1.4 tenths of a penny all the way to 1.6 tenths of a penny which is literally a thousand x here it's absolutely crazy or a thousand percent not a thousand x but obviously this is just pure hype nothing was happening in march it was just crypto gaming going up and miria going up so as you guys know if miria continues to deliver on their roadmap which you know they have obviously had delays, but we could see another explosion for Miria and especially at these prices, you know, the lows have been around 1.2 tenths of a penny. These are bear market lows. So this one is definitely in my watch list. And as I said, I do own quite a bit as I have been running one of these nodes since April 2023. Now, of course, could be biased but i am still just looking at this one you know becker's talked about it it's in neo tokyo codes so they definitely still have some pretty good affiliations now another tiny tiny this is a tiny tiny again crypto gaming coin it's sitting at a seven million dollar market cap this is playable games this thing went up crazy in the later parts of 2023 reaching about one cent and right now it's at 1.6 tenths of a penny so of course this one here you have to be very wary about it as it is a small market cap it's a subnet on avax so they are running their own blockchain on this subnet and if we take a look at its charts well playable is like i said a tiny one we definitely see just a continuous downtrend ever since the later parts of 2023 but in 2023 may i remind you that playable went absolutely crazy from about you know five zero point zero 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 five whatever how many zeros that was it did a two thousand percent gain in the matter of a few months so again what was happening here crypto gaming was going crazy is crypto gaming going to go crazy once again i do believe so it does definitely seem like we've had some sort of bottom around this one tenth of a penny. Will that break out from here? We definitely do still have some pretty big resistance on the upside here around this, you know, two tenths of a penny, even one and a half tenths of a penny. So understand that, you know, this thing is not necessarily just going to blow up overnight. But if there is another crypto gaming run, which again, I've said time and time again, I think there is, you know, this one here is a tiny play that could give you those 15 25 X's. Now, if we fast forward through a few other ones, we have Veracity sitting at a $37 million market cap. This one here, again, back in March was sitting around 1.5 pennies. And if we take a look at just what has happened recently, well, Veracity has again broken out of its downtrend. We can see from the later parts of April all the way to the early parts of September, this thing was down just crazy amounts. You know, it was just going down, wasn't seeing any sign of relief. And as we can see over the last few weeks here, we have definitely come out of the this downtrend and now hopefully being able to hold this you know 3.7 tenths of a penny as support but again veracity here has seen a lot of ups and downs throughout this you know 2023 2024 year you know back in the earlier parts of 2023 it was almost at one cent and then there was crazy news on veracity up and down it even went all the way up to, you know, 1.5 cents back in March. So again, it is a part of Neo Tokyo Codes. They are, you know, catering to crypto gaming. 
They are also partnered with some EU AI companies. So there is a lot for Veracity, but the chart is absolutely ugly. I'm not going to lie. But again, it is one of those tiny altcoins that is worth putting on your watch list because if it does bounce, it could bounce quite heavily. Now, like I said, I could go through so many different altcoins, but to keep this video short enough, I want to just talk about two meme coins on the base blockchain. Of course, number one, we have Brett, but Brett is not a tiny meme coin. It is sitting at, you know, a whopping $850 million market cap. And I do believe that this is going to remain the number one coin or number one meme coin on the base blockchain and i've told you guys time and time again that i am very bullish on brett so that hasn't changed but i want to you know highlight here is that there are other meme coins on every single chain that are going to do even better in terms of percentage gains because there are a lot smaller but what you have to understand here is that yes they could do you know a 5x better than brett a 10x better than brett a 15x better than brett but there is going to be a whole lot more risks associated to these plays because there are just these smaller coins so taking a look at toshi this thing is up 45 percent today which is absolutely crazy up about 70 percent over the last week and it's sitting at a 70 million dollar market cap so if you're looking at this and you're like wow i should have gotten in you know at the bottom here Yes, you can obviously say that, but if you are, you know, looking for these crazy multiples in the altcoin season, you are going to have to pick your poison and understand what risks you want to have because this could not move. It could go to zero and so on and so forth. And if you're investing in a, you know, sub $5 million market cap meme coin, well, you're exposing yourself to a whole lot of risks. So I just want you guys to understand that I am owning Brett as you know my number one meme coin play on base but there are other plays and toshi is a prime example here as a secondary coin on the base blockchain here up about 70 percent over the last week whereas brett if we take a look at the last week it's up 10 percent so of course you have to look at your own you know understanding of risk to reward what you want to do are you going to be okay if toshi goes down 50 percent in one day and brett goes down at 10 percent like that is just what i want you guys to make you realize because yes it's obviously great on the upside but on the downside you have to think of that as well but toshi definitely one to put on your watch list because back in march this thing was up about 5x from where it is today so toshi Brett definitely ones I would put on my watch list and you can do this with any other chain and any other meme coin because you know Solana has its own meme coin BNB has its own meme coins AVAX as well you can look at the top ones and then you can scroll down and find some smaller ones but understand that as you're scrolling down you are you know enticing more risks now the last one I wanted to talk about is a virtual protocol this one here is an AI agents platform on the base blockchain i've talked about it time and time again before in videos but i just wanted to point out here that it went from about two and a half cents to five cents in the matter of a few weeks here so it's up about 40 percent over the last seven days i've talked about it at two and a half cents i talked about it at two cents talked about it at three cents this one here i haven't seen anyone cover it and i do think that you know there is merit to it it's an ai agent play definitely in the AI and gaming and narrative. But again, you know, no one's talking about it. And it's still a relatively tiny altcoin, right around $50 million. So like I said, this is not an exhaustive list of tiny altcoins because you can go on CoinMarketCap and scroll forever on so many different altcoins. But what I want you guys to realize here is that if you are investing in small altcoins, make it a small percentage of your portfolio and if you want to invest in these understand the risks associated to them because if you're investing in a top coin like solana well you don't necessarily have as much risks as if you're investing in a protocol or a crypto game like play a bull so just understand that of course do your allocation however you want. But at the end of the day, it is your money. It is your choice. And that is what I preach here 
only invest the money that you can afford to lose. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of these altcoins in the comment section below. If you want more information and chat with me, check out the free Discord as well as the VIP Discord. And with that said, if you did enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.